How to Crypto DeFi. This time I gave myself up to 10 minutes because we're going to talk about the hardest thing to understand. And it starts out, do you feel like you're farming and you're collecting all these fields, but your value is always just like going down? Now, I've taught you, you got to make sure you're beating the fees. That means probably not using Ethereum, using Polygon or one of these many layer twos that are out there and diversify probably. You're either clicking a MetaMask out to the blockchain explorer or you're tr copying the transaction hash into the blockchain explorer for the various uh, transactions that we typically do, like collect the fees, doing swaps and adding back in. You know, usually it's like, you know, it might be like 50 cents on Polygon and a uh, buck 20 on BNB or so somewhere around there and making sure you don't harvest until you're way above that. You could think of it as like, capital efficiency you know i like to be like a 75 percent efficient or higher so if i'm on matic you know i'm waiting until there's a couple bucks or something to harvest and that will help you dial in how wide to make the pools, right? Because if you make them real skinny, you're going to get wiped out as soon as the value goes up or down. And then if the fees are high, you know, you're not going to beat the fees. So there's always this kind of balance there uh, that uh, determines how wide to make it. And then the big fee that can wreck you, that swap, right? And this is a big one because if you're harvesting some small coin in an obscure uh, farm and you're not paying attention to it, it could just totally ruin your chances there. You could get hit with, uh, you know, there, there's no limit. It could be like a 99% loss if you're not paying attention. Which would probably just mean you're holding a crap coin and you shouldn't even be holding that coin because the big things like an ETH USDC pair, you know, you're going to get a great deal and there's tons of liquidity there. But don't be lazy about swapping. Look at the input and the output amounts, the percentage it's telling you that the deal you're getting. Always compare to what uh, the other swapping will give you, you know, sushi swap versus Uniswap versus whatever, uh, pancake swap, buy swap, quick swap. But the hardest thing to understand is that all this is a crypto. Everything's happening in crypto, which is going up and down. And those waves of crypto, you know, there'll be like 6% a day where you're just getting a fraction of a percent uh, in dividends or you know fee collection so the movement of crypto is always almost always bigger than the movement that you're getting by collecting fees and it gets washed out so if you look at the last couple months most altcoins have been drifting slowly down so this is the exact scenario where it where it just you know you see yourself collecting all these fees but the value always stays the same right or maybe even even goes down but the key thing is your value didn't go down as much as if you weren't harvesting all those fees. And when things do go back up, which I believe they will, not financial advice, but you're going to be up even further. And everything scales. So if you believe that the coin you're in is going to 10x and you're collecting $2 a day, guess what? That's going to be turn out to be $20 at the end. And I describe DeFi like a game within a game. This is the outer game. You know, this is the value of the coins. You never want to be holding crap coins. Otherwise, you know, you can't possibly harvest enough to beat some crap coin that's just being sold from out from under you. And the inner game is collecting those yields and beating the fees. That's the story on how to beat fees and understanding that everything is happening in the context of the value of the cryptocurrency. You're going to go up and down with it. If crypto's going down as, as a whole industry, you're probably not going to beat that amount with the fees you're collecting. So keep the long-term view because, you know, the fact is we're, our downfall is being cushioned. And when we come back up, you're going to realize that you made more money than you thought you were making. It's like a hidden profit.